Hello everyone. I want to make a real quick video explaining how an Evinrude outboard kill switch works. It's probably the same for many other motors. So um, the kill switch wire that's coming in is the black with yellow stripe. So I have it running into the into the key set. As you can see here, here's the black and yellow stripe wire. Runs into the key, or into the ignition, then it leaves the ignition and it connects to the actual kill switch itself, the physical switch, the one that you pull or press the button on. And then the other end of it connects to the ground. So I just have the wire kind of looping through this ground, so it's it's just kind of hanging there. But basically, all you need to do to activate the kill switch is join these two wires. So if the motor is running right now and I just touch these two, it would stop. But basically, the kill switch creates a ground which shorts out the ignition of the motor. Now, here I have the spark plugs, or the spark plug uh, ignition, so the spark plugs are connected to here, and the power pack. The power pack is what has the kill switch wire on it. So where is it again? Um, here it is, the black with the yellow stripe. So all this really does is when you pull the uh, key fob or whatever you have for the kill switch itself, really it just engages a ground, and that ground goes to here and shorts out the engine from firing the spark plugs. Um, that's actually partially why sometimes you don't, your, your motor won't start and you're trying to figure out what's going on. And then you turn the key, the engine's turning, but it won't start up. And then after a while you realize your kill switch got ripped off or is grounded. This is because the motor will still rotate. So when you turn the key, the starter motor will, tar will turn. Everything will seem totally normal, but it will never start as the spark plugs will not get the ignition. And this is it, it's, it's really that simple. Um, it's one quick, probably one of the first things you wanna check if your motor isn't starting up. But literally, it's a wire that grounds. So, so the switch itself, it's almost like a spring in most cases. So as soon as you rip out, out the fob or whatever the safety switch is, it just connects together, creates a ground, and stops your motor. Um, so I just kinda wanna show how it works and that it really is a very simple mechanism. Um, you should always take a look, and you should, obviously you should probably always have this on your boat as it's a pretty neat safety feature. Um, but yeah, that's it. It literally is just the ground. That's it.